Hello Hi. everyone, hey out of the world students, uh, I'm Noah and I'm Kfir, one of the founders of Space Air. Uh, we want to say we are sorry that the live stream didn't work out today, we, have a, we had a problem with the network but uh, we are recording this video for you now and uh, we will be happy to hear from you. So let's yeah. start. Transmitting from the moon. From the moon. Uh, so, when speaking about Space IL, for me, uh, I, I like to say it's about speaking about dreams. And if you can see, uh, the bazooka, uh, when I was uh, small, I got this uh, bazooka saying that by the age of 21 I'll reach the moon. I didn't do much about it. Uh, I actually passed the age of 21, but somewhere it became a dream for me. Uh, and now I'm really proud that I'm part of a team that's actually doing that, that actually is working to make Israel the fourth uh, superpower, uh, fourth nation that is working to land soft land on the moon. So I want to thank you, Kfir, for inspiring me because I joined uh, this project before because you and Jonathan and Yariv had a dream and the mission of Space AL is uh, to soft land the spacecraft on the moon and uh, do that after from all over the world, only the United States, the Russia, the Soviet Union and China did it until now. And, and when will your dream come true? So we're, we are working on that. But I would say that, you know, landing on the moon is, is amazing, but from, from the beginning we realized we're looking to create something much bigger than that. Uh, we're working to, in a way, create a moment for everyone in Israel uh, to unite, to connect, uh, like a, a, a historical moment when everybody can uh, stand in the streets and see the, the landing on big screens or at home, it doesn't matter. It's a moment that uh, that belongs to everyone, and everyone will feel a uh, part of it, and it will be very emotional. So maybe we'll start how everything began. Yes, it actually started from a competition. The competition is called Google Lunar X Prize. Uh, everyone knows Google. Yeah, but Google. the X the X Prize is actually the one yeah. who's so running this. Google is sponsoring the prize, the the first and second prize of the competition, and maybe tell us about the X Prize. So the X Prize is a competition that runs uh, the all sort of uh, challenges, uh, challenges and competitions between private groups, right, all yeah. over the world. Uh, and the idea is to push humanity, to push science forward uh, through competition. Uh, in in our competition, uh, in order to win it, you need to launch uh, a spacecraft, an unmanned spacecraft, into space to fly all the way to the moon. Uh, to uh, <laughs> this is the first step, right? Yeah, uh, to um, let soft land on the moon itself to transmit videos and images back to Earth, and, and to move 500 meters across. Yeah, the first team who achieves that mission wins 20 million dollars. And maybe can you tell us how everything began? Yeah, so for me, it's actually started from uh, from Facebook. A friend of mine called uh, Yarif Bash, he wrote on his Facebook wall that he want to open the Israeli team competing in this competition. Immediately when I, I saw that, I wrote back that if you're serious, sign in. And this is how we started. Uh, Yarif and, and myself with Jonathan Weintraub, uh, we sat down in, uh, in a bar in Hulon and started uh, drawing how this spacecraft is going to look like and how we're going to do that. So now we see the real papers you drew in the first time you met, right? Exactly. Though, though this is this is a scan of, uh, of the the first papers that that we wrote. I can tell you that back then the spacecraft was on the size of uh, a coke bottle, really, really, really small. Uh, I can tell you that in, um, we, if you look at the, the date that we just uh, that Yariv uh, put the, the Facebook uh, uh, post, uh, November 11, 2010. It was roughly a month and a half before the registration all uh, finished, uh, and we had, in order to register, we had to raise uh, fifty thousand dollars. We had to uh, show blueprints of the spacecraft to show that uh, that we are serious, uh, and we had a month and a half. Okay, other team registered a few years in advance. Um, so thirty-three teams uh, registered for the competition. Space AL, a team from Israel, was the last team. True. 
True. Okay, and also it was not a commercial company, a non-profit mm -hmm. organization. So we are the only one from Israel, but and also the only one who's a non-profit. As I said, we felt that it's not our spacecraft; it belongs to everyone in Israel, and this is why we decided uh, to be a non-profit and uh, uh, And from now, you are also part of the project, and we are very happy that you're joining us in this amazing. Um, Amazing program, and thank you Adele and Rania for initiating Out of the World project. So, thank you for joining. Uh, and I, I can tell you that, you know, the process of cre creating, you know, uh, taking a, an idea and making it in, into a reality, uh, making a dream into a reality, uh, it started by the fact that we realized that there is no chance for us to actually create the full blueprints of the spacecraft uh, and the best thing we can do is uh, to uh, to find a winning team uh, we were able to get in a really short time meetings with the head of the uh, Israeli Space Agency, the Weizmann Institute, uh, Tel Aviv University, the IBC and, and with those people and with the people from uh, the head of the Israeli aerospace industries, uh, space facility uh, and with those people, we are able, first of all, to register in, in the competition that we can to show that we are serious, but also to actually start working on on the actual uh, engineering of the spacecraft and, and creating the team. And the team uh, is one of the th things that we're really proud of, that we're, be, we're able to create an amazing team. Uh, in the beginning, it was a lot of uh, volunteers. Uh, today, we actually have uh, 40 full-time employees. Uh, working on the spacecraft and we also have people from the Israeli aerospace industries and from the Weizmann Institute and from a lot of other organizations that are, are, are helping us. And in the end, Space AL is about people and we couldn't have done do this product, project without the right uh, people. I, I like to say that, you know, it's not uh, a project that you can do like three engineers sits in the garage and, and develop uh, any kind of software. It's something that you really need a team. We have, we, we need... A team and facility and partners. Mechanical engineers, terminal engineers, software engineers, uh, so many like 14 different types of engineering. Uh, that need to combine together. And also together. scientists. We have also scientists in our mission. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about the spacecraft. Yeah. So this is a model of the spacecraft and as uh, Kfir said in the beginning, uh, it was supposed to be something like this height yeah. in the beginning. It looks small but the real model is actually much bigger. Yeah, but now, so what do you want to tell us about the, do you want to talk about the components yeah. of the spacecraft? I, I want to explain why we thought that first of all we can build such a small spacecraft. And like if you look at any smartphone that you see today, so, Everyone has this smartphone. Yeah. So what has inside of it? What we can we do with it? So you have a, a computer, much more powerful than everything NASA had when Apollo landed. You have a communication system, you have an electronic system, you have a, a, GPS, a battery. GPS, a camera. You have, yeah, you have sensors, you have like, basically in this you have all the things that you need, all the electronics that you need in order to go to the moon. You're actually missing one big thing, and it's uh, fuel, the fuel tanks. Uh, and when we started in the pages that you saw before, we actually uh, calculated how much fuel do we need. And we saw that for every um, gram, for every kilo we want to take with us to the moon, we need four uh, meters. Four kilos, uh, kilos yeah, of, but uh, of uh, gas. Yeah, and. Um, um, like if you think about this, this weighs less than 200 grams, so four times of this, it, everything is less than a kilo. We said like we are going to create, like the calculation said one kilo, we said five kilos. And this was the initial design, the design just to make sure that uh, we have enough uh, uh, spare to, to, even if it will become bigger. And we actually started to do the engineering. The smallest fuel tank that we were able to find was roughly this size. Okay, and it weighed just the fuel tank itself, seven empty. kilos. Yeah, empty. When it's empty. Seven kilos. So now so we need seven times four in order to take just the fuel tank and the spacecraft become bigger, became bigger and bigger. Yeah, so and because the spacecraft can be just five kilograms if the fuel tank weighs seven kilograms. Yeah. And then it becomes bigger and bigger. 
But still, it's the smallest spacecraft that is going to land on the moon until sure. now. It, it weighs to, 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 uh, today uh, around uh, 500 kilos. But if you look at the initial uh, uh, design, the, you have the, the engineering model, you can see that it basically it's really a small box of uh, electronics. Most of the, the spacecraft is, uh, is the fuel and the fuel tanks uh, that are you know, the big... Uh, um, the big portion or the big mass yeah. of the, the spacecraft. If you look at the uh, marketing model, you can see that we also have the uh, solar panels and we have the cameras and we have a bit more stuff uh, besides just the fuel tank and the electronics, but you can see that the fuel tanks are uh, still uh, the major uh, component. And I think also space is important for everyday life because uh, even on your glasses, uh, we uh, you have um, material that uh, prevents scratching, and uh, the microwave, uh, microwave and velcro scotch, uh, and great coffee that we have, like yeah. a lot of stuff, were actually developed and designed for for space, uh, but we use them in in our daily life. Going back to to uh, where we are, so the spacecraft be became uh, much bigger. It's still uh, the smallest spacecraft that was ever designed to land on the moon. The fact that we are so small allows us to do something else, to uh, buy a, a, a lunch contract. We don't have to buy a whole rocket. We can just buy a portion of that. Uh, we were actually the first one to in the competition to buy this lunch, uh, actually a ticket into space. Uh, and... Um, Today, uh, from more than 30 teams, there are, we're down to five teams. Five teams in the finalists of the competition. Yes. And when is the launch uh, supposed to be? When are so we going to launch? We're going to launch soon. We are still not saying the exact date. And it's going to be also the 70 uh, years. years of yeah. Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Independence of Israel. Um, and, and and we are already started like uh, most of the components are already here uh, we have the structure that arrived uh, a few months ago we are connecting now all the different parts assembling them uh, into the one big spacecraft um, we are also taking a scientific experiment with us uh, that is led by the Weizmann Institute we're going to study the magnetic field of the moon um, and and basically you know the picture that uh, you see now, this is uh, what we're aiming for, so that you in, in a year will be able to sit at home uh, or, you know, I don't know if you want to be in the street and, uh, and have big screens and to see the, the spacecraft uh, lands. Um, okay. We're hoping that you'll hold the finger Cross for us. Yeah. Um, so we want to tell you good luck in your project and we're waiting to see about what you're going to learn and um, we're here for you uh, here under this um, this video you can write to us uh, questions and in, we will answer for you and we have a special surprise yeah. uh, we want to offer you to actually join not just through you know everything that you do and uh, let's say that every um, class that uh, joined the project can actually go to the moon and uh, with your teacher uh, we'd love to get your picture and this picture uh, can actually go on the actual spacecraft and fly uh, in a year to the moon with the Israeli spacecraft so we're waiting to see you on board so also we're leaving an email that you can send uh, your team uh, your class picture and we will add it to to our spacecraft so thank you very much and sorry again for the live streaming didn't work. We had a, again, technical problem and uh, hope to see you soon and hear from you. Thanks. Bye. To the moon. To the moon.